This video is for comedy purposes only. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is my favourite anime of all time. But the fifth laboratory is no longer operational. It remains unmanned. It was definitely not unmanned. She didn't say she fired it whilst working guard duty at the lab, you moron. Whether the fifth laboratory was closed or not isn't relevant. Sure, according to your account. Well, that and Alphonse and the sergeant. Second Lieutenant Ross is being questioned. No one is permitted inside to see her. That was an unnecessarily long pause between statements. So, what have you got planned now? Well, Ed? Moping, sulking, and other such activities. Who aided Lieutenant Ross's escape? One of my men? But why? Why, Colonel? I'll tell you why. So you could burn her to death with your own hand. What do you care? You were stitching her up for the crime and convicted her without a trial to die for said crime. Please allow me to apologize for one of my own officer's actions. I could never have imagined that Second Lieutenant Ross would commit such a heinous murder. She was so straightforward and earnest, compassionate, a truly fine officer. Watching Alex do everything he can to hold back his anger while still sounding professional really makes this whole scene for me, so I'm going to remove a sin. <laughs> Ed is a dick to empty trash cans. Human anatomy. But I've got plenty of experience burning corpses. He means burning people. You're Maria Ross, correct? He asked this to add tension to the previous episode. However, he didn't actually need to since he already saw her face in the newspaper. Hey there, full metal. At this point from the previous episode, Mustang was actually facing in the opposite direction on the other side of the dummy corpse and turned around saying, Hey there. Full metal. Whereas here he's getting up from having been beside the body. Goodbye, Edward. Take care of yourself, okay? I still owe you. For slapping me, that is. You can get me next time. Does that mean that he just wanted to randomly mention that he still owes her a slapback after she said, look after yourself? Where the hell did Alex go? Hayate ex machina. I get to have dinner and dessert. Roy ex machina. Who the heck was that fat guy? That's racist. Thanks for saving us back there. Tell me later. Let's just stay focused on the mission for now. She already thanked you once, greedy Gus. Take a good look, boys. It's a philosopher's stone. Revealing your weak spot for no reason. Give up! There's nothing you can do that'll kill me! Then you won't mind if I borrow this! <laughs> Bet you wish you hadn't stupidly shown that off earlier now, huh? It seems like you should buy a girl dinner first, before you stick your hand in her chest. Terminator Lust. Roy is so badass in this scene, I absolutely love it. Removing five sins. Tell me, Edward, what possessed you to burn down my home? Insurance money. He's exactly like I was when I was his age. A slave? Pairing them together, the body will eventually reject it. It could happen tomorrow, or ten years from now, but it's inevitable that it will. Sounds like just regular death then. You know, you and brother always gotta be the first to explode. I never get the chance to be the one to get mad. Aside from the whole fake memories thing a few episodes back, yeah. Brother, after the portal, I remember looking at you from inside that thing, 
The thing we thought was mom. Would have been helpful if you remembered all of this earlier, dude. Just saying. Hold on. You mean the portal? <laughs> you don't need to worry about it. Unnecessary amount of gears. Three cheers for old war buddies, huh? Old war buddies, my butt. More like accomplices. You'd incinerate them and I'd dissect what's left. And what was the point in dissecting the bodies? It's not like the war was one massive CSI crime scene. I know you like to play with fire, but someone will get burnt if you push this too far. Pun intended. Did somebody get injured? One of my men. And instead of speaking to a doctor who might know more about his exact condition, Roy reads a medical journal. Is that so? Report back to base. Discount Michael Kelly! Nice try. But your flash bomb didn't succeed in blinding this eye! In that case, you could have easily caught up with them rather than just throwing your sword. You two saw that abomination as well, did you? Alchemy created that tragic creature. So, that's the science you would spend your lives following? <laughs> It's not the alchemy they research, it's the alchemy Mr. Tucker research, so there's no need for the shocked expression. <laughs> when reacting like a numpty. This science causes nothing but destruction and slaughter. Well, that and guns and bullets. Look at his hands! He's a state alchemist! Look at his hands, he's a state alchemist. No one runs because no reason. <laughs> the best defense against a knife wielding man is, of course, show your back to them. Scar is addicted to sleeping cats. This doesn't break his legs. There's nothing inside that armor. You're hollow, aren't you? Did you not get that much back in episode 5 when you destroyed Al's armor and said, There's nothing inside? Silly forgetful Scar. That was well played, girl. Must have been awful for him, hounding her all that time. They've got us outnumbered. It's time for us to retreat! Ha! Just how many of those fucking blades has she got? We've told you, you're an important candidate for sacrifice. We need you to keep your strength up, understand? Oh, an important candidate for sacrifice? That'll make him eat right up. Are you going to cooperate with us or not? If not, the village is history. <laughs> the village would be history even if he did cooperate. That's no incentive. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised. That's just how all you humans are. You put emotions before common sense. That's racist. Let's go. I said go! Alright dude, chill. Give him more than half a second, would you? Stop it! Doba Envy. The lamp or hat or f***ing cake plate, whatever it was from earlier, is now missing from his desk. How did we even get here? I don't know much about fire, but I know fire can't burn on its own on stone structures. She's always been with me. It feels so wrong not having her here now. Okay, I can let the rest go, but a panda using chopsticks, I gotta send that. Leather goods are edible. We've got a meal. That should do it. It's actually true that you can indeed eat a leather shoe. However, where did the water come from in which to boil it? You have no idea how good that felt. I ravaged their entire country with a single bullet. <laughs> I mean, talk about invigorating! Wow. Envy is a real cunt. You destroyed my hometown. How did he destroy his hometown? Isn't that still completely fine and where Granny lives? 
Until I'm told otherwise, I'm sending it. Don't worry. His only true purpose in life was to help you further achieve your goal. Asshole scientists go out of their way to be assholes. Just try not to think about it. This won't take long. Asshole scientists stupidly leave the door open to their death room. I can't. <laughs> I can only leave with my own soul. I'm sorry I can't go with you. How would a body with no soul be able to understand and communicate with someone? Oh, I don't know. Times like these, people have to enjoy themselves when they can. Especially in this country. Especially since in 30 years you're going to shrink three foot. But you're just being sentimental. Isn't that right, Hohenheim? Uh, uh, face off. Thanks for all the help. Alcohol problems. Overall, 20 minutes and 26 seconds of alcohol-induced dreams and recap. I consider the two of you to be vital resources. You must both remain alive and healthy. Well, they wouldn't need to be healthy, just need to be alive. My heart is large enough to hold 20 or 30 of you! <laughs> well, I do like how ambitious you are. That's Troy Baker, and that's an easy sin removed. Wait, what are you doing? Look! <laughs> Jeez, couldn't you have warned me first? It probably just not had the time to tell you. If you had simply behaved yourselves, then we would have let you go a long time ago. Why let them go at all? With no alchemy, you could easily imprison them until the chosen time to just use the sacrifices. I am happy it turns out how it does in the end, but I'm just saying. Stop yelling! And while you're at it, will you put on some pants? Hey, what's the holdup? Get a move on! <laughs> ah! Slapstick. Your plans are gonna fail. I swear on my own grave that I'm gonna stop you. I'll warn the other state alchemists. Revealing your plans to the enemy. I found this on the floor. Huh? Hmm. So that's where it's been all this time. Hey! You can't throw away a family picture! Says the boy who burnt his family home down, complete with family pictures. The only pictures he and his brother had. There's nothing childish about caring. I'd like to believe that you're serious about this. Another graveyard that struggles to bury people in any semblance of order. <laughs> These guys haven't got bayonets, so are instead just slightly nudging a guy to death. Look straight at the people you kill. Don't take your eyes off them for a second. And don't ever forget them, because I promise that they won't forget you. They'll forget you immediately after they're killed, dude. Since when did Kimberly become so religious? You'll be able to shoot me in the back as well. If I ever deviate from this path, then I want you to shoot me. Entrusting your subordinate with your murder. You should never avert your eyes from death. Never forget the people you've killed. Trust me. No matter how much time passes, they will never forget the ones who killed them. <laughs> Plagiarism. What the hell is that? They're a gift from me. Rhetorical question. Roy has got a truly unnecessarily large office space. You couldn't protect the prince. And look at you now. Actually, she did protect the prince, as if she hadn't torn her arm off, King Bradley would have caught up to them and killed them both. <coughs> hey! Completely unnecessary slap from her grandfather of all people, Baka. I don't know if you actually exist or not, God, but cut me some slack. Even a guy like me needs a break. Just please let me enjoy the happiness of having a cup of coffee with my family. This really touched me the first time I saw it and made me well up. For this, I'm removing a sin. Visitors. A thought just occurred to me. How does Kimberly wipe his ass after he goes to the toilet? So who made this decision? I didn't say you could talk, Kimberly. Must have been someone pretty high up. Shut your mouth. Guard is acting like a dick to the guy who's been released on orders from the higher ups and forgets that now if Kimberly decides to talk, there's literally nothing he can do about it. I appreciate you taking care of me. I 
I hope I never see you again. If you feel that way about him and truly hate him, then why even bother shaking his hand in the first place? Hurry! These soldiers are running down a straight bridge and not firing their weapons. There's no escape for you now, Scar! Scar doesn't notice the soldiers in front of him. These soldiers literally do nothing. That's what he's good at. But then where women are concerned, I'm afraid he's a bit of an oaf. The first time we met, he made me so angry I actually slapped him. <laughs> Talking about intimate personal relationship details with two strangers. Are you wondering why he doesn't look like us? No, no sir. It didn't cross my mind. Well, it's because we aren't related by blood. We were unable to have any children of our own. So we adopted Salim and he's our son now. Jesus Christ, guys. No one fucking asked, okay? He's grown into a fine devoted son. Look at the length of those bloody books. But can you honestly tell me, in that split second when you take down an enemy, you don't allow yourself to feel the slightest tinge of satisfaction? 